Welcome to Waters World. I'm Jesse Waters. Stop listening to the haters. That's the subject of tonight's Waters Words. Remember all this? There's not going to be a President Donald Trump. <laughs> um, that's not going to happen. A lot of people have no idea that Trump is headed for a historic defeat. Even if Donald Trump did win all of the toss-up states, he would still lose. I just want to say, you're not going to be president, all right? The so-called political pros lost their credibility last year. So why do we keep listening to them this year? Everything the establishment says about Trump turns out to be wrong. Let's take a trip down memory lane. In the event Donald wins, I have no doubt in my mind the, the market tanks. <laughs> Mark, buddy, I hate to do this, but let's play it again. In the event Donald wins, I have no doubt in my mind the, the market tanks. How could the first billionaire business mogul president tank the market? The Trump bumps juice the stock market to historic highs. Speaking of tank. Let me tell you what I think. <laughs> so not only was Trump going to destroy the economy, he couldn't even get anything passed through Congress, remember? This is a test for uh, President Trump's legislative uh, abilities in terms of being able to fashion legislation as he has promised. And he's got big items coming up, tax reform being one. But it looks like um, he can't deliver. I don't think they're going to be able to get a consensus together to get tax reform done. He is a powerless president. Does a powerless president deliver a $1.5 trillion tax cut to families and businesses? Repeal the Obamacare mandate. And finally begin drilling in Anwar. And one of the most irritating things to listen to is pundits claiming cutting corporate tax rates wasn't going to help workers. This is just a, a matter of fact. When right. corporations get tax cuts like these in this economy, they buy back stock. Yeah. They very well may buy back stock, but Comcast, which owns MSNBC, announced that it was, as a result of the tax cut it would give special $1,000 bonuses to more than 100,000 of its employees. I'm sure the staff of Morning Joe could use that money around the holidays. And AT&T also promised $1,000 bonuses. Wells Fargo promised to hike its minimum wage to $15 an hour. And Boeing promised to spend $300 million on employees. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Finally, Trump's ISIS strategy. Crooked Hillary didn't think too much of it. Donald's been all over the place on ISIS. Sometimes he says he won't tell anyone what he'll do because he wants to keep his plan, quote, secret. <laughs> and then it turns out the secret is he has no plan. I remember what part of the plan was. I'm going to bomb the shit out of him. It's true. I don't care. I don't care. And people from all stripes didn't think it would work. It's interesting to hear some people, they run for president, they talk tough. We're going to carpet bomb ISIS. We're going to make the sand in the Middle East glow in the dark. Well, you can't carpet bomb ISIS if you don't know where they are. And CNN said destroying ISIS in Iraq would take a generation. This is something that's going to go on for a very long time. This is a generational threat. You just don't say beat it in 30 days because it's frankly insulting to the individuals who've been attempting to put their, uh, their, all their strength on the line to defeat it over the last 16 years. It didn't take a generation. It took a year. ISIS has been driven from the battlefield in Iraq and holds no territory there anymore. You don't believe me? Even the New York Times op-ed page was forced to admit it. Columnist Ross Duthat writing in a piece titled A War Trump Won, quote, if you had told me in late 2016 that almost a year into the Trump era, the caliphate would be all but beaten without something far worse happening in the Middle East, I would have been surprised and gratified. So very provisionally, credit belongs where it's due, to our soldiers and diplomats, yes, but to our president as well. So when you're around the dinner table this Christmas and your left-wing cousin starts popping off, bring these uh, examples up. If he or she doesn't listen, pour them a little more wine. Why should we believe anything the haters and the pros say about Trump when they've been proven wrong two years in a row? The answer is you shouldn't. If your local weatherman keeps telling you it's going to be sunny, but it always rains, that's fake weather. So find a new weatherman on a different channel. The same goes for fake news. It's time to start thinking for yourself and trusting people with proven track records like me.